Josh Welton with Brown Dog Welding, uh, working on the Panic Attack Triumph. Today we're working on this BSA tank. Uh, I've modified it a little bit, and uh, now we're covering it with stainless and copper. Uh, to do that, we're using silicon bronze uh, and, and the TIG torch. I'm using the Multimatic 200 uh, today. Technically, it's brazing, but you can do it with the TIG torch. It's kind of neat because as opposed to regular brazing where you're, there's a lot of heat input from the torch with this, it's, it's a lot more precise, more controlled, uh, and it's pretty versatile. It's nice being able to join two dissimilar metals like copper and stainless. Um, it's not necessarily as strong as a mild steel weld would be, although a lot of it depends on your joint design. Uh, with this, we're, I, we're obviously just doing it for looks, but uh, it's, uh, it's definitely a nifty tool to have in your bag. Uh, a lot of body shops like using the silicon bronze because of the lower heat input into the metal. Uh, you're not going to get as much distortion. Uh, this tank, I'm doing something different. Uh, I've never seen this done before, maybe it has been, but I just think it's going to look cool. I want, I want it to be different, but I don't want it to be different and dumb. I want it to be different and cool. So. I'm, I'm as interested as everyone else is to see how this turns out. Uh, so far, I, th I think it looks pretty cool. What we're going to end up doing is I'll, it's really hard. We're, we're taking really thin copper and really thin stainless. It's uh, a 22 gauge. Uh, and with the way it, they have different melting properties. So when you're filling in with the silicon bronze, but they melt differently. So you're trying to fill it in, trying to make a nice even bead. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I'll be mixing in uh, different finishes, different sanding techniques. Uh, some of the beads will be raw. Uh, and then we're going to clean it up and clear coat it and uh, put it on the bike and see what it looks like. One benefit to doing TIG brazing or electric brazing, as, as some people call it, is uh, as opposed to traditional brazing, is it's, it's clean. You're not, you don't necessarily have to use flux. Uh, and it's, it's really precise. You're using the end of the tungsten to direct the heat, so you don't have to have a lot of heat input like you would have from, from using an oxyacetylene torch. Uh, so, so you're not going to distort the, the metal too much, and uh, you're not going to eat away at it like you would with an oxyacetylene torch. Uh, so really, it, it opens up the, the opportunities for, for using it.